In Magnate, you build an empire through stocks, real estate, and business. Every player starts with a hundred grand and tries to turn that into a million or more before everyone else does. To set up, give each player a ledger board and a reference card. Then find a starter card for each player and add a cube to it. Gold nuggets and silver cubes are used throughout the game. One nugget is worth five cubes. Give yourself $86,000 in cash. That combined with your stock is $100,000. If you're the player with the most cash in your pocket right now, take the gold meeple, you're the start player. Now let's set up the table by unfurling the market mat and placing the index at 14. Shuffle all the cards together and place them in two roughly equal piles at either end of the mat. Place the cubes, nuggets, and d6 within easy reach of all players. We start with the draw phase. This is the only phase where turn order matters. Draw a hand of three cards, and starting with the first player, resolve play immediately cards. In this case, we'll just discard this one because there are no properties in play. Draw cards to replace the play immediately's played, and then we continue in clockwise order. All players will resolve their play immediately cards. Back to the first player, we adjust the market using the icons in the lower right corner of all the cards in your hand. One at a time, each player will make these same adjustments. Any player may sell stocks between each of these adjustments. No adjustments are made if your cards add up to zero. We move on to the trade phase, which allows for simultaneous play. From your hand, choose one card to keep. You'll have to evaluate which one you think is best for your empire. Read the cards carefully to decide. Many cards have special abilities that will complicate your decision. Once you've made your decision, pass your remaining cards to the player on your left. Take the cards passed to you to form your hand for the next phase. The build phase is also simultaneous play. From your hand, you may choose up to two cards you wish to put into play. Value Added Resellers is a modifier that is incompatible with the public relations firm, so we can't build that. That decided, let's start by buying shares in the clothing store. Our initial buy will be $1,000 times the index, which is at 17, so $17,000. Take one cube from the 10,000 place on the ledger board. We'll need to make change to pay the remaining 7,000. One cube from the 10,000 space equals 10 cubes from the 1,000 space. That settled, we can subtract the remaining 7,000. And add a cube to claim one share in the clothing store stock. Next, we'll take a loan for this business. To do that, place seven cubes in the 1,000 space on the loan side of the ledger board. To finish the build phase, discard your remaining cards. Let's have a look at what player two is doing. They're going to take out a $930,000 loan for an eight plex and a $50,000 loan for the salon and spa. Player 3 is going to take out a $20,000 loan to start a fitness gear company. She's also got a times 10 modifier that'll cost her $2,500. The bill must be paid in cash and so she'll have to make change. It would have to say loan next to the cost to take out a loan. It's always best to use loans if you have the chance. That settled, she's ready to place the modifier, but it has a special clause. It seems we need to roll a d6 and get an odd number to keep this card. Since fate is on our side, we can safely attach this modifier. That brings us to the Reconcile phase. Each player collects $1,000 for their job. Then we'll collect $200 for our business income. Our clothing store stock gives us 1,000 times the number of shares. And our starter stock has no dividends. The back of your reference card shows you how to pay interest without using math. Just find the loan space, move over one space, and up two. In this case, there is no space there, so we'll have to round our $70 up to 100. Player two has a lot of loans. We'll start with the $100,000 slot, move up two spaces to the 1,000, but we don't have enough there, so we're gonna have to make change. Once we've made change, we can remove an equal number of cubes and nuggets from the cash side as we have on the loan side two spaces down. Then we'll do the same thing for the 10,000 space. We move over one space and up two, and again, we have to make change in order to pay the debt. As you can see, the one over and two up process is way simpler than actually calculating the interest payment. We've calculated and paid our loan interest in less than 20 seconds. Now player two would like to search for tenants for this building. She can get five for just $1,500. She is limited to just five this turn, not the full eight. She'll have to get the other three next turn. She'll place a nugget to track her new tenants. With that, we have entered the cleanup phase. If no one has a million dollars in cash, pass the first player pawn to the next player and start with the draw phase all over again. And now you know how to play Magnate. Grab a copy and make your mark.